Given the following graph, what is the IOOC or the slope of the tangent line at x equal 1? Well, the first thing you have to do, here's x equal 1. Then what I do is I, as much as I can, line my straight edge with the graph. I don't go this way, I don't go that way, I try to line it up so it matches the graph as much as possible at x equal 1, then I draw the tangent line, and if you notice, the graph and the tangent line look like the same thing around x equal 1. I get away from it, they're different. But here, they look like they're about the same. So what that tells me is, what the rate of change is at x equal 1, or x equal 1 might be the month of January. Okay? What's, my, what are, what's the change in sales or revenue or profit or whatever I'm trying to calculate the month of January? Well, easy enough, I just need to find and look to see, does this guy appear to cross someplace else? There looks like a cross point here, and looks like a nice cross point there. So I just need to have two points because then I can calculate the slope of that line. So I notice it's over ones, not kinky, which is good, and up one, two, three. So I R O C which happens to be the slope of the tangent is rise over run, 3 over 1, or 3. So that says for every one unit on x, y does what? Increases how? by three units. And that looks like that might be good for a short period of time. Because those two look pretty compatible for a period of time. And then they become very incompatible. It allows me to do forecasting over time. Now again, I could take two coordinate points if I wanted to and do the same thing and do the calculation. Here's where it becomes a little dicey, and I printed out the wrong, uh, your, yours is right, <coughs> mine is wrong. Uh, I printed out what I, I think I, this may be the one I uploaded, I'm not sure. So if it is, I have to change it. It says draw a tangent line, and there should not be the word between, on the graph, and it at x equal 4, and then this is not there. Yours is fine, mine is not. <laughs> and now I find x equal 4. Here's my graph right there. There's the point I'm interested in for the tangent. Then I'm going to take my straight edge, and I'm going to come up to the graph, and as best I can, try to line the sucker up. Now see what I did? I came up to here and I thought, I didn't see enough of the graph, so I started to tilt it. Now do you see graph on either side? That says I'm probably in pretty good shape. That's why, by the way, there can be more than one answer. So there's my tangent. Now I'm going to look to see, does it appear that this thing crosses someplace? Yeah, it looks like about right here, which would be 5, negative 2. And this one is 4, 3. So I could find the slope of the line the hard way. Or I could say, I'm going to go down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
So it's a minus 6 because I'm going down. And 1, 2. No, it's 1. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pardon me? Oh, it's a 3. Oh. Oh, you're right. It's 5, negative 3, but that doesn't help me at the moment. So, 4, 3... Okay, I just, I've got a different line. That's all right. So, this says that the slope of the tangent is negative 6 over 1, or negative 6. Now, when I did it in the first hour, It was tilted just a little differently. Actually, this one's a little bit better. If you see, it, it rides the graph a little bit better than this one does. I should have brought it back a little bit further. But I got negative 5. And that was right for what I drew. Because you're trying to estimate, and that's what your worksheet will say, estimate the slope of the tangent. Because you're going to have different answers, depending upon how you draw it. So, I should get the same thing if I take two coordinate points. So, the slope of the tangent will be negative 3, negative 3 over 5 minus 4, which is negative 6 over 1 or negative 6. So, should get the same thing either way. And especially if I don't have good grid marks, I may not have a choice. So the best you can do is an estimate.